Hey, what's going on YouTube? The Bearded Baron here bringing you guys a demonologist video. In today's video, I'm going to break down for you exactly how and what to look for when you're trying out for your very first time on demonologist. We're going to go from start to finish. I'm even going to show you how to exercise the ghost in the abandoned house, which is the first map that becomes available to you and show you how to do that. I know that you probably have a lot of questions. So if you have any kind of questions, post them down in the comments below. I do answer every single thing. I hope you enjoy. Share this with a friend and follow, subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, let's go. Okay, first things first. Okay, the, the basic bone gear that the game gives you is perfectly fine for identifying the ghosts. So the prizes that you're going to see for everything are going to be like super expensive. You're going to be like, wow, this is really weird. One, they're changed. They're working on that to maybe tweak that in the future. And two, you don't need it to be able to identify the ghost, right? You would need some extra gear. We need the, uh, we need the camera and we needed the candle, but everything else that you see here on the table is everything that just normally comes with the game. You don't need anything else special. So I like to grab the flashlight. This is your EMF reader. And I also like to bring in the canvas first time. The reason why is because the canvas is definitely going to give you, it takes longer to get a canvas drawing most of the time. So, uh, but putting that down first, if you are going to get a canvas, at least it'll help you to do that. Now, major differences. A lot of people like to compare this game to Phasmophobia. A lot of major differences with this game and Phasmophobia is this has a lot more jump scares to it, right? So know that going in, okay? If you turn on too many lights, at one time, you will cause the room... What will happen is, is, rather than tripping the breaker box, you'll just start blowing out lights. Right? So if you see here, if I just keep walking around and we keep turning on lights, eventually, I'll just snap... I'll start snapping lights. All right, we'll keep going this way. Go in here. Probably my maximum now. And there we go. We blew out the light. So depending on what difficulty you have depends on how many lights that you can turn on before you start blowing out lights. But that's something to uh, to keep a lookout for. Right? So there, like I said, there's a ton of different uh, scare, you know, jump scares that can happen in this game. There's a lot of interactivity with the game as well. So there's a lot of stuff that you can explore and check out. But we're just gonna walk around, right? We need the ghost to start interacting with its environment. Start listening for anything. All right, that's that's Victoria. She's coming in. She's saying hi. Yes, I am an official uh, content creator for Demonologist as well. So if you guys didn't know that, and for Phasmophobia too. But yeah, we're all about the ghost hunting. She sounds like a newborn. She sounds terrible, right? So all we're trying to do right now is just trying to pick up an EMF read, right? Any Every single ghost would give you an EMF read. So that's what we're looking for right here, see? Got an EMF four, EMF three. Oh. Hey! Woo! So we found him. Okay. <laughs> So, like I said, a lot of jump scares. I'm still not even used to it. If you want to put down something like the the um, like the canvas or the ESG device, and I'll explain what that is later. Um, if you hold down G on your keyboard and you use your mouse wheel, then you can cycle it back and forth. That way you can actually have it pointing at you. Um, so you can put that down, right? So a lot of people ask that question before as well. <sighs> it kind of scared the crap out of me. Not going to lie. That scared, a little, scared me a little bit. All right, so this is the spirit box, and this is a lens device, right? So what you're seeing here, it's kind of, it's a little bit hard to see because I'm, I'm in front of it. Uh, but this is your spirit box. Now you're, you're constantly talking in the game. It's just constantly open mic. You don't need to hold it down. I don't need to hit V, right? That's for, for global voice. So you can communicate with the ghost just by talking into your microphone. You don't need to hit anything special. With the lens device, what we are looking for is little like ectoplasm. Right? It kind of looks like something else that you would maybe find on the walls if you used a UV light. If, you, uh, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Right? And it'll kind of uh, blink, kind of like glow at you. A little bit. 
So uh, that way you know. Lights can be on with the uh, spirit box too. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Can you not do that? That'd be great. Thank you. Where are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? Okay. We're not getting anything there. And we don't have anything for the ectoplasm that I've seen thus far. Right? You'd be looking at it on the walls and you would see like a it would look like a like a stain on the wall. Chair was trying to run me over. Chair is always trying to take over the stream. But we won't let it chat, right? We won't let it. A stain. That's what I said. A stain. Okay. <clears throat> Now, the other device that a lot of people have a hard time with is this device right here. It's the ESG device. Now, the ESG device, if you were to put this, you know, to anything, this would kind of be like the dots of phasmophobia, but it works differently. So, the way that this works is we place this down. If the ghost uses an ESG as a, uh, as a piece of evidence, what you will see is that it'll make a sound, and the ghost model of whatever ghost that it is will pop up in front of it and kind of like T-pose for a second, right? It's kind of hard to see. It's one of those things where it's like, it's much easier, um, much easier to see. Oh my God, what is happening over here? It's much easier to see in person, uh, but you can definitely see it. Um, ooh, we got fingerprints. But you can definitely see it uh, if you're paying attention to it, right? If we had a video camera, you could set up a video camera to then point it at both of these. There's the easel as well. And we got freezing temps. So they kind of got lucky. We got uh, everything that we needed. So we mark them all off. Now we have Revenant. Now, once you have it locked in, right? You'll notice we don't need the sanity, right? We, we got that. All that's taken care of now. So now before I lock in the ghost, I'm going to grab the other items that I know that I'm going to need, which is going to be the candle. And it's also going to be the, um, it's going to be the candle and it's going to be the camera. Right. I'm also going to bring in a crucifix because crucifixes work differently in this game versus phasmophobia as well. So you want to have the crucifix in your hand and you want to have it equipped. Okay. If the ghost starts to hunt, you can't hide from the ghost. You can loop the ghost. So like in this house, you could loop it around this hallway here. If you're, if you're good enough, but like it, it definitely takes some practice. Um, if not, what it will do is it will eat the crucifix, but here's the bummer to it. It can turn around and it can instantly hunt you again. So if you know, let's say for instance, that you're looping this ghost around and you know that it's going to catch you or you know that like, Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm trapped over here and I don't know where to go. I'm terrified, but I have my crucifix. Just stand in front of the door. So that way he eats the crucifix and then you can open the door and you can leave because it can turn around and it can hunt you seconds later. Right? So definitely, uh, definitely, definitely keep that in mind. I've had plenty of times when I'm in the back of the house and I'll have it eat the crucifix and then all of a sudden it'll turn around and it'll still, it'll start to rehunt again. And then I have to try to loop it again. So it's one of those things where if you can time you, if you can get around to your placement, you know, and position yourself in the right spot, when it does eat the crucifix, you're much better off. So I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to grab another crucifix just so that way we've got it. Jointed. It's a solid, uh, it's a solid game. Um, I, I am thoroughly enjoying it. I'm looking forward to what they're going to come out with. I like the progression system. I like the, the character customization you can do in the game. I like the safe house customization you can do in the game. There's a lot of stuff you can do. So I like that. All right. So now it's hunting. The lights are on. There he is. Oh, 
Well, I can't really see it, but I saw the bowl move. Oh, damn it. All right. So he ate the crucifix. All right. So I'm going to lock in Revenant. Okay. <laughs> so that's why you got to have it. Right? Now, we also need to get a ghost photo here. You have unlimited photos. Right? So taking photos of that stuff doesn't really help, but you can. It's a crucifix made out of chocolate. No, this is a, this is a solid wood crucifix. This has been in my family for generations, and it gets <laughs> and it gets burned. Shit. Okay. Oh, I might be dead. Oh my god. Okay, we're going. I burned it. I'm out. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Please don't get me out here. No, thank you. Oh, I think it might still be hunting me. From what I've been told is that he can hunt you outside the house too a little bit. I think the tent is safe, but I think that this out area outside here is not safe. Wakey Bubbles, thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Beardy Bearing Room. So because of that, right? Because it ate both of my crucifixes. This is a very important lesson that I've learned. All of my safety nets are out the window, right? We burned up both of our crucifixes. We couldn't do anything about Happy it. Happy birthday! So at this point in time, just leave. There's no point. There's no point in, in sticking around, right? So we're just going to leave. We're just going to get our points. We're going to call it a day, right? So we still got it, right? We had the ghost. He did blow the candle. We didn't get a photo of the ghost because it never did like an event kind of thing and we never did um and we never did find the the silhouette looking there but i still got 700 dollars out of this now the reason why i say that you just leave and don't risk it for the biscuit is because stop eating so much because over here if we take a look at our tools right a crucifix costs two thousand dollars a piece it's very expensive that's why i'm saying like when you start off and you have nothing right just take the money and run you can always come back later on when you've got more money uh, and you can add more items into this um kind of thing right so well uh so hopefully that helped you guys out for as far as being able to figure this out we can run it back one more time here they're going to be changing stuff around they're going to be tweaking stuff so if you're new to this don't be frustrated right just keep practicing keep trying stuff out and you get better at it Yeah, so we're gonna take this back in here. We're gonna go back in with an EMF and with the easel. <laughs> How dare you tell the CU to go away? <laughs> I did not give the final code yet. I did. Right? So, same thing. We're just looking for the ghost room. Right, we're walking around here. We're taking a look at everything. We're waiting to see if we get any kind of activity. You can explore around the map. You can play with the ghost. You can do a bunch of different stuff. You can enjoy, you know, taking a look at, at the different uh, the different pictures and everything. There's also an Easter egg right now uh, with another map with Maria's room that uh, that folks are trying to figure out. But see, you can come over here to these paintings, right? Do you want to play ball with me? Right, so there's like little stuff like that, which is like, which is, you know, pretty great. What's up, pseudo official? Oh. You might actually be in the library. You are in the library. Look at you. All right, we're going to drop this down. All right, put that there. All right, we'll head back. Chad, in case you didn't know, on the Cyclone Street map, there's uh, there's little, f there's like little uh, photos and frames on the walls, um, and that's actually pseudo official. He's one of the uh, the developers of uh, Demonologist. So yeah, if you ever see those, um, then you'll know that that's him. 
Follow what the dev said about using the ecto glass and you walked in and so far it's worked. What do you mean about the ecto glass? Let's bring in the ecto. All right, we'll head back in. Imagine selling the paintings you got from the ghost. Oh, I would definitely sell the paintings I got from the ghost. Are you kidding me? A hundred percent. Hundred percent. You want to use the ecto glass? Oh, the uh, the lens thing, the ecto glass. That's another good way of, of finding it, right? I like to do the uh, the EMF because every ghost is gonna leave an EMF, right? It's gonna touch something. It's gonna interact with its environment in some way, and so that will leave an EMF signature. Not every ghost will leave you uh, ectoplasm. Hopefully the ghost doesn't cling to the painting and haunt somebody else's house. That would that would be pretty cool. Right? That would be pretty neat. Yeah, the different ghost paintings that you could get, you know, you can hang them up in the lobby as you got them, right? So you actually had to get those individual paintings. That'd be pretty sick. Some of the guys in those the ghost needs privacy before it does it. Not everyone likes to watch be <laughs> likes to be watched. This is true. There's the ectoplasm. So that's what it looks like. Definitely is not something else, chat. Okay? <laughs> it's ectoplasm because it's a spooky ghost. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Where are you? How was your stream? How was phasmophobia? How are you? You know, I don't know that anybody asked the ghost how, how are they? And it did leave us another uh, drawing here as well. Darkest 119. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bearded Baron Guru. Prod. Count out, shout out to my fingers. I can count on all of them. Shout out to my fingers. I can count on all of them. Easel drawing. We got ectoplasm. Right? So we need fingerprints. Or, um, no, not fingerprints. Not EMF. So we either need freezing temps, ESG, or a spear box. That's what we need. Are you here? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Can you give me a sign? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you here? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get spirit box. The ghost, some ghosts on uh, games on seven to ten multipliers. It was quite funny and interesting. How are you on streams? Oh, I'm doing great. We are simply doing an uncapped subathon. Currently, I have 25 hours left. Do hi. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, it touched the door. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, we can't get fingerprints anyways. I think we're going to get ESG here. I think it's going to be a Nama because we don't have freezing temps yet and we didn't get a spirit box. Hey. Stop interacting with the environment and just step in the ESG. Just do it. Do it now. Oh, I already figured out the Maria puzzle. I figured it out earlier today. Right? I'm just not telling anybody um, for reasons. Can you not throw those around, please? <laughs> Seems suspicious. No, I, I definitely got it. You found a way into the room already? There's ESG. That's what ESG looks like. So it is a Nama. Okay. So now I need to Nama when my way out of here. They Chad did pick my new hair color. They chose platinum blonde, of all things. 
on most of these. They did. Uh, Favoror, I was just giving the, I was giving my forehead a break. Ryan, streaming so much and sweating behind the goggles. Uh, definitely takes its toll. That's just, that's the ghost's way of saying hello. Right? Like, for me, I like to say, you know, like, my way of saying hello is magna. Right? That's how I like to do it. Magna? Hello? Can you not do that? Magna! Magna! <laughs> ah! Anonymous, thank you for the for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> My heart. <clears throat> oh yeah. Do I think that this game has Our as much replayability as fast? Yes. Wave. The surface dweller, I one hundred percent do. Party child, thank you for the two month resub. Oh, there's the ESG again. She was sexy. She's sexy and I know it. I think that the artwork, the, the different images and stuff like that are really good on there. Right? Nice. I got that ghost booty. We should be good to go. All right, we're gonna leave the candle. I also need to pick up the, uh... We need to look now for a silhouette lady. So this is how you're gonna exercise the ghost, right? So the first thing there was getting a photo of the ghost, which we did, right? And the next one is, is getting a silhouette of the lady. There's gonna be a lady just gonna be randomly chilling around over here. It's gonna be like in a corner. But you got to investigate the corners. See, and it's complete RNG as to where you go. So just keep that in mind as well. Luckily, this place isn't that big. Unfortunately, this is not the easiest way to, um, to exercise the ghost, right? Like, this map is not the easiest to exercise the ghost. Actually, the Cyclone Street is, I think, is the easiest to exercise the ghost. But unfortunately for everybody else, when you're starting off the game, you have to start off on this, uh, on this map. There she is. So that's what you're looking for for that. Right? So now that we got that, is it always a lady though? And it, so it does seem to be always a lady. Right? So now I can drop down the lens because I won't need any more. We got our crucifix. What level am I now? 17? But there's people that are already in, like, in the hundreds. But they're running, like, four-man groups on hards. And just, like, going through there. Let's see what we got, right? So we needed to blow out the candle before we can find anything else. So we're going to pick up this last piece here. We're going to go back in. The location does change for, uh, for the, uh, for those secondary objectives, yes. So like that, the lady in the silhouette, the silhouetted lady, um, it would be different as to where, um, be different as to where she was located at. She wouldn't be in the same place every time. Leftover pizza, leftover slash pizza slash free pick. Did they go for free, free? They go for free pick. Hey. Can you blow out the candle, please? You're in this room, right? Let's go. Whew. Right, just blow it out. It'll be fine. Right, with the amount that they charge for crucifixes, you'd think you would be able to rip off the crucifixes off the wall and call it a day. 
I mean, like, why don't these work? Come on, blow out the candle. All right, let's take a look here at the ghost type, right? Now that we know that it's a Nama, we don't have any data on the Nama, unfortunately. <laughs> because the ones on the wall ain't the right wood. It's a crucifix. Why would the people, why would you make a crucifix if it wasn't the right wood? And is there a right wood? What if it's made out of metal? What then? Hey, ghosty, blow this out. Come on. <clears throat> How do you get the ghost data? I don't know. I think they're adding it in slowly over time, but they're allowing the player base to kind of like play around with it first. Let's see. If I turn off the light, will you blow out the candle? Where is... There's the other crucifix. How do you get more info on each ghost? I don't know, Survivor. Don't know. Okay. So we blew out the candle. Right? Which means now we got to do the last step, which is go around here. Now, I'm going to say this. Each one of these that I'm about to show you. Okay. Uh, so we got to find these little fingers. So we take these little fingers and you'll see them. They'll be blinking as well. Right? And they're scattered around the map. We got to take them. There's one down there, right, that I saw. Right? Um, running with a crucifix. So this is obviously going to be easier with more people. What's up, the ghoul? Oh, yeah. We've taken sleep breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to put them in here, right? We need five of them total. We're going to take another one. Now, during this time frame, the ghost can also still hunt us. Fast challenge. We still get defensive items. I'm confused. Yeah, it's broken right now. Loan, please. It's broken. That, that's why. We tried doing it earlier, and it was busted. From the games, yo, Pandy, I have appreciated, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. also watching some wrestlemania how many how many folks watch wrestlemania chad the next thing you guys are going to tell me is that you think that this ghost game is fake and that i'm not actually going around someplace figuring out what the ghost is here's another finger see now now you'll notice right the last match we had was a revenant this match right we got the the nama or whatever. And it seems to be much less aggressive. This ghost game is fake. You are not actually going around figuring out what the ghost is. Well, isn't that convenient? Okay. Isn't that just convenient? Right? Then what is it then? Zombie time. It's because you aren't real? I am real. I'm a real boy. Nice. There's one here. See? Uh, oh, I was about to say, see, there you can you can have multiples in a room, but there wasn't that one in there. All right, we got to find one more. Somewhere. There we go. I'm in the imposter baron. You don't have the goggles on. I took them off because I was hot. One more. One more. Here we go. We got this. We got this, chat. I bet you it's back in Victoria's room. <laughs> Victoria, not right now. Okay, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. You're always hot. It is hot in here. Well, I have a dual PC setup too, so like this room is always toasty. All right, so this is what happens when you actually exercise the ghost. Now, whether or not you get the ghost correctly does not matter. You can still exercise the ghost and be wrong. But if you are wrong and you exercise the ghost, you won't get as much points. You won't get as much currency.
but this is what happens. This house is clear. Yeah, I would kind of like it to where, like, if you get it wrong and then you exercise the ghost, then it uh, maybe it permanently locks you in there and you're screwed. Did you just crack your wrist? Yes, I did. Why are you judging me? Don't judge me. <laughs> Good lord. All right. <clears throat> See, that's what happens. That's what you need to get everything. Now, that's for 1200 Now, if we put this on, like, hard mode, right, you get way more money for it. But, like I said, this one, if you're if you're in this for, like, grinding out levels or grinding out money, I would do the Cyclone Street. I'd do this next map. 